Hey, it's starting. Yeah, so much. Hi, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is that was not the right words to use in that sentence. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nina. If you don't already know, I was about to get ready and I was like, why don't I just film it? I also made Instagram story a couple weeks ago. Like what videos you guys want to see? And this was a very requested one. So that is what I'm doing today. You wouldn't have requested that if you don't follow my Instagram, so you should do that. And then next time I ask something, if you have a request, you can let me know, you know? Sorry, I just woke up and I'm still kind of out of it. Let's just get started. I honestly don't really know how to do this. I don't really know what I'm doing. This is just what I do, which is what you guys wanted to see. With that being said, let's just get started. So I have these two baskets. Here's one of them, here's the other. So before I do any makeup, I use this toner. This is just the Thayer's Witch Hazel. So I just put a little bit of that onto a cotton pad and just... All right. Next, I use the Ordinary Drops. This is kind of like a moisturizer and I just kind of squeeze a little bit of that. And then I put little drops, blend it all in. Like that. Okay, now that that is done, I am going to moisturize my face. This is Bliss. I got this from Target, and so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. I just put this kind of all over my face. I don't know. Blend it in. And there we go. Now we can start on actual makeup. Put this to the side. So here's my makeup basket. Let's just pick out the stuff that I'm actually gonna use today. Okay, now I'm ready. On the daily, daily basis, all I really do is concealer and mascara, but if I ever do any more than that, this is what I would do. During the summer, my sleep schedule is really non-existent, so I have a lot of dark circles. I'm like, let me come closer for you. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a lot worse in person. So, this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, and I just do a little bit of that underneath my eyes and then on any little pimples. Just like that, wow. I take this little beauty sponge, I lost my actual beauty blender, but this works the same, and I kind of attack my face with it and blend it in. There we go. Next, I got this recently. I used to use the Bare Minerals Tinted Moisturizer, but then a couple days ago, I got this powder by Bare Minerals. So this is just their powder foundation, and so I just kind of go over the rest of my face really lightly with this brush from Amazon. Put that underneath my eyes, on my forehead a little bit, like that. What's next? Bronzer, okay. I've had this bronzer for so long. This is just the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. Oh my God, I feel like my nose is gonna bleed. You know how you get that feeling where you're like, like I feel like if my nose starts bleeding, don't be alarmed. Okay, we're just gonna pretend that that's not happening. Okay, anyways, I just take a little bit of this on this Target brush and I just kind of dip it in there and then I just put it here. I'm forgetting that I'm supposed to be talking. That's not good. So, let's talk. How is everyone's summer going? Let me know. I honestly feel like my summer is going by really fast and I'm not okay with it. I don't know. It's already July. Since when? I still feel like it's May. It's really just hard because a lot of my friends are traveling right now and I just got back. So, I'm not really able to see a lot of my friends, but we're making it work. I feel like I've just been complaining a lot in this video. I'm going to use some of this blush. I use the L'Oreal True Match Brush Blush Blush. Put that just on the top part of my cheeks. Just like that. That's basically all. And now we're done with blush. Next is highlighter. I use this Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector. And I put it on this part of my cheekbone and then on my nose. So, you know what? Let's talk about something. Oh yeah, I also just blend that out with my fingers if you couldn't tell. Another reason I haven't been as like active on YouTube, I just kind of like went through a really odd week. Nothing specifically bad happened. I was just not having a good week. I was just not at a great mental state. And so I just didn't really want to put that out on the internet, but I feel like I should at least address a little bit about that. And I've been thinking a lot about making a more in-depth video because I know that like what you see on the internet is very deceiving. And I get all these comments like, oh my god, your life is so perfect. Like, oh, I wish I had your life. So I just want to just kind of remind everyone that that is not the whole reality of 
my life. YouTube videos are edited and I edit out the bad parts and I don't want to include negativity and just like spread negativity. Everyone go through things. I just don't show that on the internet, but it is good to be reminded that it's not reality. I like stop doing my makeup. Let's do this while we talk. I'm just gonna use the wet n wild highlighting powder and just kind of take this on this little brush And I just go over the liquid highlighter like that just in the same areas I'm just going to brush out my eyebrows and kind of shape them. I don't really use any of the coloring side I just use the spoolie Okay, back to what we were talking about. Okay, so I was going to talk about the Law of Attraction podcast that I've been listening to because I think it's a really interesting topic and I know I mentioned it a couple of videos back, but basically the main point of the Law of Attraction is your thoughts become things and if you're constantly in a negative state of mind, that's just going to be the events that are going to surround you. So it's important to kind of have more positive spirits. And I'm not saying fake happiness. I'm saying to not dwell on the negative parts of life and instead just focus on the positive because nothing good is going to happen if you keep focusing on the negative. There's nothing you can do to change certain events. And so dwelling on them is not going to help. I'm like half awake trying to give you the inspirational speech. If you fill your mind with positive thoughts, then that's going to be your surrounding. And if you fill your mind with negative thoughts, those are going to be your surrounding. Anyways, okay, back to the main makeup um i've been using the tartlet toasted palette lately i use more just on this wet and wild little two dollar brush and then i just mix cashmere and warm together and i put this all over my eyelid oops and then i take this little smaller angled brush i just take a little bit of the shimmery color this one's just candle and i just put this kind of along i don't know what words to use i don't know what any of this is called the lower eyelid along right there i really hope this makes sense like that we're almost done. The next and last step is mascara. First, I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. This is just the Revlon Gold Eyelash Curler. I brought this mirror closer so that I could see what I was doing. I have been using this eyelash primer recently. I feel like all eyelash primers work the same, so I just put this on my eyelashes. I honestly think it makes a difference. And then, I use the Too Faced mascara and then I use the Essence Lash Princess to just kind of go over the tips of my eyelashes and then we're done. We are done. But that is basically all that I do and my everyday makeup routine kind of thing. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You know where all the buttons are. That's basically all. Um, bye. Sit in. My diamonds glisten. I don't talk, I listen. I learn new things.